On an old hollow tree near the edge of the thick woods lived a family of owls. On the topmost branch lived the youngest owl, Raoul. He was polite and cheerful, but he had a serious problem for an owl. He couldn't see in the dark. Every evening his family would wake up, yawn, stretch and start out. Raoul would blink and peer and strain his eyes, but all remained dark. When the moon was up, he could dimly see the shapes of trees, but he had to fly very slowly and close to the ground. Since it was impossible for him to hunt, he had to go home early and wait to be fed. His brothers brought him some dinner in turns. However, they constantly laughed and hooted at Raoul's inability to hunt. Raoul hated this. At last, Raoul could not stand it any longer. This won't do, he said firmly to himself. I will have to change my habits. And then and there, he made up his mind to do something daring. He decided to sleep all night and wake up in the morning. When the family heard of the decision, mother and father were very upset. Whoever has heard of such a thing? Mother cried and almost fainted. Disgraceful, said father. None of our family has ever done such a thing. Rufus, one of the middle brothers, who read a lot, said, No, Arctic owls hunt diurnally, that is, during the long daylight hours. We are not Arctic owls, cried father coldly. The older brothers laughed raucously. Woo-hoo! Maybe he isn't even an owl. He's your brother, father said. Please leave him alone. Then he turned to Raoul and said gently, If you insist, you can try, but remember to be a good owl always. Father patted mother's wings and whispered, Don't worry, my dear. He'll soon change his mind. The following morning, when his family was going to bed, Raoul got up, stretched and stepped outside. He sidled out on the branch and looked about. Wow! he shouted. He could see everything. And there was so much to see. A bright, hot, yellow thing in the sky. The forest, brown and green. Far away meadows, green, full of flowers. Raoul spread his wings and flew out. He had never seen so many colors in his whole life. He felt so good that he flew upside down and did barrel rolls and looped the loops. By noon, he was hungry. He spied a small mouse behind an old barn. He swooped down on it. Oh, please, Mr. Hawk, let me go, squeaked the sad little mouse, holding his little hands together. Raoul's heart was touched. He let the mouse go free. But why do you call me a hawk? he asked. The shivering mouse slowly looked up and said, Good heavens, you are not a hawk, you are an owl. What on earth are you doing in daytime? Are you crazy? I don't think you ought to be so rude. After all, I could have eaten you. I, I am sorry, said the mouse. Please forgive me, but I have never heard of an owl flying during day. Raoul explained everything. That is the bravest thing I ever heard of, said the mouse. Thanks, but I am very hungry, cried Raoul. My name is Bertram. What is yours? asked the mouse. Raoul, nice to meet you, Bertram. Will you eat cheese? asked Bertram, hurrying back from the barn with a piece of cheese. Raoul pecked at it. Oof, too sticky. How about corn? asked Bertram, bringing kernels from his winter store. Aup! Too hard! Aha! cried Bertram. You're a bird, aren't you? What about some bird seed? Bertram ran into the big house beyond the barn and returned with a discarded box of bird seed. Delicious! Raoul cried. After lunch, he took Bertram for a ride on his back. The mouse explained to him about the flowers, bees, and many other things. By evening, Raoul was ready to go home. The two friends promised to meet again. He met his family next morning as they came in. My poor boy, said mother, embracing him. You must have had a terrible time. No, said Raoul cheerfully. 
It was fun. You must be starving. Here, eat this lovely mouse father got for you. Mouse? cried Raoul. That would be awful. My best friend is a mouse. Oh, the sun is affecting my child's brain, cried mother as she again got ready to faint. Raoul politely showed his family the box of birdseed and flew off into the sunrise. Bertram was waiting. They met families of robins and rabbits. The sun shone brightly. By noon, Raoul said, Bertram, perhaps father and mother are right. I cannot see too well now. Now, don't be hasty. You have done very well so far. I think you are not used to the sunlight. Even the people in the big house are dazzled by too much sunshine. Are they? asked Raoul. What do they do about that? Bertram snapped his fingers. I know. Just wait here. After some time, he came out of the hole from the big house's junkyard, dragging a pair of toy sunglasses. Bertram helped him wear it by tying the earpieces together with grass. This is wonderful, said Raoul. It is soothing. Days flew by happily. One Sunday, at dusk, as Raoul got home, he heard his family talking to the neighbors. Our Raoul flies in the sunlight. First owl to do it ever. Real genius. Nothing can keep a good owl down. Raoul slipped into his bed, content, singing, To wit, to woo.